talk about how you get from 12 volts to 36 volts. If you pulled a, a negative wire to the black side and a positive wire to this side, you'd have 12 volts. If you wire in parallel, in other words, you start with positive on one battery to negative on the next battery and then positive from that same battery over to negative on the next battery and then positive from that one back to negative on this battery you've got 36 volts because you've got three times 12 that's what we've just done here so i'm going to put some straps on these batteries uh, so that they won't fall off put a few straps on this whole rig so it's a little so it's pretty stable and then we're going to go for a ride again and do a little bit more testing what I've done here is I've lowered the center of gravity from up here to down there. I've actually got the batteries lower, just lower a bit by just a bit than the center of the axle down there, uh, which should help things tremendously. Uh, I mentioned earlier I could probably disguise that with something like a gas can or something like that, but for test purposes, since we're all just talking fish here, the test purposes will go like this. Okay? Okay. All I'm doing really right now is just strapping this uh, grill thing. Oh, this is an old oven rack. I had a, somebody had an oven, a grill stove they'd thrown in the dump and I saved it out and for the metal out of it. Use part of the metal to fix Josh's Jeep. I used the firebox out of it for a wood box out back, the killing wood box. And now I'm using the grill racks for uh, battery holders. That's pretty good recycling right there, I do believe. Pretty good. That's why I was strapping them on. Hey, honey, babe. Ooh. Yeah. Our old basket that we had in the barn that I've lost for so long I finally found it and I dropped these batteries down to there they used to be on top but they were heavy and they made the bike top heavy so I dropped them down below the axle this is my test run yeah. Well, they're so heavy that uh, I rode it up the hill, and when I was coming down the hill, my hat blew off. So I turned around and went up and I pulled up where that sign is up there, and I set it on a kickstand. And the battery's so heavy, they sat there for about a minute, and then it fell over and it went rolling down the bank, and the batteries went rolling down the bank. And I'm, I had to gather up all the pieces and try to put them back. I thought, well, that ain't gonna work. So, by getting that down there, we get rid of that top heavy, and it, and it rides so much better. Because you know, when it's top heavy, it's like you're wogglin' all over the place yeah. trying to keep. Her. That could be like your pannier. Put that back on, and it's an extra bag to put stuff in. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, you could still put stuff on here. Uh, this is just a quick little prototype, but uh, you know, I can imagine all kind of possible things you could do back here to sort of hide the batteries or or whatever. But it's uh, it's not a lot different than a saddlebag, sort of. So mm -hmm. cool. <laughs> even uh, I got one saddlebag we had left over from the bike, and it actually looked pretty good there, and it would hold a battery, but I. Was, 
I wanted to get them all on there and take it for a test ride. So yeah, that's why I butchered up an old oven rack. <laughs> I figured out you don't cook cookies that often anyway, so you didn't need it. <laughs> that's true. You'd happily sacrifice yeah. an oven rack for yeah. this bike. Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh. Ah. Yeah.